Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool within Civil 3D that will help us create a point listing that will notate for us our points and their station and offset with respect to a particular alignment within our file. This is something that we get requests for quite a bit, especially when it comes to staking things out or maybe identifying structures or creating a point list that represents different infrastructure within our model. Um, and there is a tool within Civil 3D that helps us do that. So let me uh, let me show you how that works. What I've got to start is a drawing that just has an alignment. Uh, it's called Main Street. I've also got a number of points that I've randomly placed along the alignment. Uh, point number, and I've given them an elevation description, and that's irrelevant for right now. I just want to see how difficult it would be to be able to create this point report uh, representing those points and their stations and offsets. So my model is pretty much ready to go. What I want to do to create the report is I'm going to come over into the tool space here under Report Manager. We'll come down underneath Points, and there is a uh, predefined point report that's set up for station and offset to points. I'm going to double pick on that to launch the tool. And what I get is I see the information that's going to be included in my report. Um, don't have a lot of options. I can either click or uh, check or uncheck different points that I would like to show up. But I, I can't do much in the way of sorting, you know, or other things like that. So we'll, uh, we'll address some of those issues here in just a moment. I can control which alignment my points will be referenced to, and I can tell it where to save the report. By, defa by default, that report will be an HTML file. Let me go ahead and we'll uh, click on Create Report. We see the report that's created. It's actually a nice report. However, the typical request that I would get after producing something like this in the past is, hey, this looks nice, but uh, I'd like the points either numbered numerically, or if it's somebody doing stakeout uh, and they're going to be visiting each location, is there any way we can uh, reorder the stations such that they go from the lowest to the highest station or vice versa? By default, using the tool that we had, uh, those options aren't uh, available to us, but we can, through a little work with Excel, be able to uh, put out the point report format in, uh, in just the uh, configuration that we're looking for. So let me show you how that would work. The first thing I'm going to do is when it comes to reports, if I click on the button here, I can actually choose between several different report output formats. I'm going to choose to output it to Excel. So we'll use the same civil report uh, XLS, and I'm going to put it into my Tuesday folder. So we'll save that. We'll create our report, and it automatically launches for us Excel. And we see essentially the same contents we saw in the HTML file. Well, from here, if I'd like to reorder some of this, I'm going to um, grab, oops, I'm going to grab the data that makes up my table. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard, and we'll make a new workbook within my Excel spreadsheet, and we'll go ahead and paste that to the, the first, uh, first entry here. Oops, might not have hit that. There we go. So I've got uh, that set. The next thing I'm going to do is we'll set up filtering so that I can sort these, uh, these items. If I just click in the, one of the cells that make up the data for my table, I can come over here on the Home tab, and we'll come down and click on Filter, and it'll add the filtering arrows that now I can very easily take and sort these from smallest to largest. So I can do that both for the points and, uh, to my surprise, even though this is text, I was able to support or sort these by uh, station as well. All right, now, one thing that because this is text, I'm sure everybody that's ever sorted text before numerically from lowest to highest has come up with, uh, you know, 1, 11, 12, you know, 2, 20, 21, all right, so this appears to be working quite well for us in this particular instance, but if I had a lot of these and I, I really had a question of whether or not, you know, did it really sort the stations correctly, let me show you a way that I could confirm that it, it would. And what we would do is just convert these to a number. So I'm going to select this column. We'll uh, copy that and we'll drop it down here in F. We'll take and paste those results. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this column. And we're going to go to data, and I'm going to convert the uh, text in this uh, column to multiple columns so that I can help facilitate turning it into a number or numeric value. I'm going to tell it it's delimited. We'll click on next. And as far as the delimiter that we're going to use, I'm going to use other, and I'm going to set it to my plus sign because everything to the left of the plus will be uh, 
in the hundreds, everything to the right will be the actual numeric value. So we'll go ahead and click on Finish. It separates those out, and then my new column H, I'll just take and add those back together again using a formula to come up with my station. So we'll say the sum of, it would be uh, F2 for that cell, times 100, and then we'll add to that the, uh, the value that's left in G2. And I'll hit enter. From there I can copy this to the uh, clipboard. We'll click and drag down to the bottom and then paste. It will add all those values. Alright, so now this value in H is a numeric representation of our stationing. So what I want to do is we'll do the filtering once again so that I can sort based on my new column. So we'll come back to Home come over to filter, click it once, we'll turn it off, make sure I'll click one of the cells within my table here. We'll click it again to turn it on. And now I can very easily click on my new column of numbers here that represents the numeric value of my stations and go smallest to largest, or I can go largest to smallest. All right, once again, clicking this may do exactly the same thing, but like I said, I'm sure everybody out there, this is actually text. If I try and add 5 to this, it, it gives me a, an error because it's, you know, a text and a numeric value. So it may be sorting it correctly, but, you know, it doesn't uh, take but a minute or two to convert it to a number and ensure that it uh, it's doing the math exactly the way that we would expect. All right, when we're doing about 10 or 12 of them, it's not that bad. But if we're doing hundreds, if not more, then, uh, you know, it's a lot harder to check manually. And then using this, we, we really wouldn't have to. So once I've got the information organized the way that I would like to see it, maybe let's uh, switch this to uh, numeric order. I can always take and grab the data that we started with, right-click, copy that back to the clipboard, come back into my report, and then paste it back. It automatically updates the you know report that's already been created. If I'd like to do something based on stationing, I can come here and do smallest to largest, uh, copy that to the clipboard, come back to the report, right-click, and then paste, and we're ready to go as well. Okay, so um, flip back to my drawing here. I'm going to say done. So if you're in a situation that you've got an alignment and you've got points that represent various infrastructure or boring locations, monitoring wells, uh, points that need to be staked in the field, whatever the case may be, uh, along that alignment, you'd like to generate a report that shows a station and offset of those points. We've got the tool directly here in the tool space that will allow us to do that. And if need be, if you'd like to, uh, you know, further refine that with respect to numerical order or, uh, you know, rebuild the columns in that using a little work in Excel, you can pretty much customize the output to get exactly what meets your needs. So, hope this helps, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.